How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another GTA Retro video. Today we're going to be going over covering, talking about, and explaining a little bit on and about the Hidden Interiors universe inside of the GTA series. Now, uh, there's different names for this. You guys may know it as Ghost Towns in the GTA series or even the Heavens I believe is another name for them. But uh, what this universe comprises of is... Uh, used and unused locations inside of the GTA series and I would say one of the most popular ones if you guys have played GTA 3 would be the ghost town of GTA 3 and uh, what this is is a, a portion of the city or a little street that was used in the opening cutscene of the game and it was placed outside of the map as it did not make an actual appearance in the actual game it was just used in the cutscene or the opening cutscene so it was placed outside the map and I, I believe Rockstar didn't anticipate anybody ever finding this just outside of the map. And uh, that's why they placed it out there. It was a total accident. And, and since then, I, I think Rockstar kind of uh, caught on that people thought that was interesting. And they started adding those in to uh, just various GTA titles. And one of the most famous GTA titles to uh, uh, possess the, the Hidden Interiors universe is San Andreas, which... Uh, that's where the Hidden Interiors universe got its name was San Andreas. I believe there are over 150 different uh, Hidden Interiors in that game located in 18 different universes and these different universes in San Andreas are referred to as heaven or the heavens and uh, it's like heaven A, B, C, D and I think it goes up to R. I'm not too sure on that but uh, just a very interesting uh, universe quote unquote you could say and uh, it just comprises of multiple things. I know in Vice City, there is this universe that also makes an appearance in that game where under the map, there are interiors for, for stuff that you see in, in cutscenes. So that's that's really interesting, I think. You cannot access them, I believe, without mods, but you can see them from the outside and you can see them on the inside. So uh, it's really cool and some of the locations inside of San Andreas are the Ganton Gym. That's where you can start to go into this universe. You can go up through the ceiling. Uh, and in most cases, this is also another interesting fact to uh, access this universe in San Andreas for the most part. A lot of the entrances to these hidden locations are actually above the height limit of an aircraft. So the only way to get into some of these locations are through mods or using the jetpack. Because I believe the jetpack has a higher... Uh, height limit than, than the aircrafts in that game so you can fly up to the different interiors and there's just a floating blip in the sky and you can just walk right through and some of them some of these uh, locations you will end up inside of houses I believe that are from missions the burglar missions where you could break into people's houses there are restaurants there's crack dens there's mad dogs crib uh, and just different locations like this now off the top of my head I can think of one inside of GTA 5 and that's actually an apartment or excuse me an an apartment it's hard to tongue twister but it's an apartment interior that appears under the map and i believe it's an older uh, apartment interior that Rockstar just kind of placed underneath the actual uh, apartment complex and building inside of GTA 5 so uh, that's very interesting but overall i think that the hidden interiors universe is pretty cool like i said I think Rockstar from GTA 3 kind of picked up that people thought things like this were uh, really cool, so they kind of they, they added them in. San Andreas, of course, being one of the most popular games. Uh, Vice City uh, having interiors of its own, but uh, overall, like I said now, I think it's just really cool and interesting, and I'm not sure if there's any more in GTA 5. I'd be eager to know. Uh, and if you guys know if there's any cool interiors like this in GTA 5, let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know, what do you think of the Hidden Interiors universe? Very eager to read through all of your comments. But with all that said out of the way, I believe that's just about it. If you guys did enjoy this retro video and would like to see more like it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, of course, if you are new around here. That way you never miss out on an upload. And if we could go for 1,000 likes for the Hidden Interiors universe in the GTA series, that would be awesome. Uh, and with all that said out of the way now, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.